Okay. <laughs> Man, this aluminum gave me a hell of a hard time. You guys have been watching the videos, the comments, everything else like that. Uh, talk to Yvette on some of it. Talk to D. Sang. Talk to Sherry Cruz. Talk to Happy Al. Uh, Janet Rockware. She's been making some comments. She's kind of wanting to know. Kim Gow's wanting to know. So these are some of the most elite people in the resin art world, you guys. Um, so I really struggled with cutting this aluminum this week. I'll go over everything. You know, I'll show you the grinder. I'll show you the saw. I'll show you the jigsaw. Oh man, cutting this stuff up was uh, it, it was tough. So on the longer runs, the uh, the aluminum likes to go woo 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 and like wobble and stuff. So I ended up having to take it to a buddy's shop that had a shear. Thank God I knew him, uh, Scott and Tom Bickle and Danny Bickle, um, Bickle Motors here in Des Moines. Just long automotive friends, you know. I've been in the automotive industry for a long time, but I've known them ever since I've been in it. They're they're great people. They helped me out a lot. Got me out of a pinch. But uh, yeah, so got these all done and. Edges are all nice and straight and everything now. Um, this is a smaller one. I got a couple smaller ones in here. I don't think I'm gonna have to put the wood on the back of this, you know, to uh, support it, because it doesn't really go flimsy. I've got some bigger stuff outside still that I haven't even brought inside yet. And, you know, that uh, that stuff, I'm definitely gonna have to put some pine on the back. And I'm gonna go liquid nails. That's kind of what I have came up with, so. Yeah, but today I tried, you know, or this weekend, I guess, I tried my, you know, my circular saw with the DeWalt wheel in here with the grinding wheel. That worked pretty good, you know, with the T-square and lining it all up, but it just, it chunked out the edge. So it just, it wasn't perfect, you know, and if I'm going to sell this stuff to somebody, I want this thing to be, you know, nice and perfect, you know, that's, that's what I want. Um, when you're doing this stuff, you will need a file to file the edges. You know, I got a file right here. Just whoop, whoop, cut it and scratch it a little bit. Uh, I did try this skill saw blade right here. I don't know. It's 70, 100 teeth or whatever. You know, I thought a finer cut would work. It would go, but then it would just stop and go click, 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 and like kind of chunk out the aluminum and then start again. And that, it just, it just wasn't good, you know. Um, like on the video before with the little one that I did that was framed in, uh, you can use like a little jigsaw like this if you're doing small stuff, you know, just have somebody help you hold the aluminum. Or if, you know, like everybody's been asking too, you know, what kind of aluminum is it? It's 16 gauge aluminum. Uh, I got it off of my friend that does construction, Cecil. He's actually my next door neighbor's son. Um, it's 16 gauge. I've got it in sheets of like eight foot by four foot. Most of you people that are going to have to buy this are going to have to go to like a metal supply store or something like that in your town. And a lot of those towns will, you know, their metal supply store will have like a shear in there to like, you know, whoop and cut it. I'll put the shear in this video too. Um, you know, and that's, I don't know, it's just uh, that's probably how you're going to have to buy it and how you're going to have to do it. Uh, you'll need some safety goggles, you know, like when you're running the grinder. I got one of these things too, you know, a little safety mask because I didn't want the aluminum getting all up in my nose. Um, just kind of afraid what that did to my body. Uh, this thing too, like right here, you know, like I even used like one of these little cutoff things to try this thing. This thing didn't work worth a damn. But this is good for like taking the drips off of your bottom of your paintings, you know, for the people that don't, you know, go underneath of it and scrape it. Uh, what else do I got to say? I don't know. Uh, let me see here. Oh yeah, um, like with the grinder and stuff, you know, there, there's all sorts of different attachments you can get for it. You know, you can go to, uh, oh, like this one. This is a 40 grit. They go all the way up to 200 grit. You can get a little disc like this. They'll all put like different kind of marks in your aluminum. Um, so, you know, and there's, there's nothing special to it. I mean, just kind of pick a pattern, hold it at about 45 degrees and, whoop, you know, just grind on it. Uh, ladies and then guys with like longer hair like ponytails or something you know like this thing's gonna spin you know spin super freaking fast so you definitely don't want to get your hair caught up in here because it will it can hurt you you know these things they can hurt you I just want to say safety first you know practice with it and be safe with it uh, what else I don't know but I'll go over some of the videos and stuff and like I'll show the grinding part on it uh, I already talked to Villa from like Vegas Art by Boyd about it, you know, and sent her part of the video. She said it was pretty good, uh, good enough for YouTube, so. Oh yeah, like when you're cleaning it, and I, I, I said this in the last video, like I just use like a bandana like this, you know, 
And then I, I clean it all off and everything like that with a bandana because this leaves like about the least amount of fibers. And then even like with grinding it, there's still going to be itty bitty like medical metal <laughs> metal particles in there. So you're going to want to like, what I do on mine is I take them and I put them in the shower and I just run the shower head over it. And then that way, you know, all that stuff in there should wash it out. So um, that's what I do. And then I bring it back in here. I rub it down with alcohol and then I kind of wipe my hand over it, make sure everything feels good. So this is all still new to me, everybody. So, uh, you know, we're kind of going in uncharted territory. There's not a lot of people doing this that I've seen. Uh, there's a guy out in Hawaii. I sent him a message on Instagram. He hasn't responded yet. Uh, there's another dude that Iveta was talking about that she's actually going into the gallery that that guy's coming out of. I didn't even message him. I don't even, I can't think of his name right now, but. All right, I know I rambled really quick, uh, but yep, I just kind of wanted to go over this. Hopefully you're still watching. And I'll show you the part with the grinding, like how to hold it and kind of like what I do, so. All right, and thank you guys for watching. All my new subscribers, thank you. Uh, follow me, subscribe. I'll take you to the promised land. I promise you that. <laughs> That's a good quote. Uh, we're going to make some badass shit here in the next coming year. And we've got a lot of, lot of good stuff coming. So stay tuned and enjoy this video. All right. Bye-bye. I hope you guys can hear me okay. Um, I'm just gonna do some basic grinding on this. And like I said, this aluminum is still new to me, so I've already kind of done some on this side, but today I'm just gonna kind of grind a pattern and then we'll cut it up too and uh, kind of show you everything. So it's what I'm gonna try to do today and I guess I'll try to explain it as I go. So, all right, I'm gonna get started with the grinder. Gotta get my mask on. And some safety goggles. All right, we're good to go. Gonna throw this over the edge this way. All right, so like when I do this, I just kind of hold it at a 45 degree angle like that. And try not to hit these or that because they're made out of plastic, you know, you can grind them away. But we'll, we'll just do some stuff, I'll show you. So the more the angle, what I found out, is the narrower the line you get. The line won't be as thick. So I'll try to show you some of that too. I'm just going to kind of do some stuff and it's not really any rhyme or reason to it. It's just that's what it is. I'm just making something. All right, I'm going to continue on. That's all there is to it, you know, it's just a four and a half inch angle grinder with a 80 grit pad on it, you know. So that's all I'm doing is just grinding that metal away and just kind of putting a little design in it. So, okay, cool. I'm going to cut some of this up. I don't know how big I'm going to go. And then I'm going to build a frame for the back of it. And then hopefully that'll kind of give it some dexterity and kind of let it stay in place better so it's not flexy so okay cool okay so I nicked that edge right there so I don't really I don't trust that or I don't know what that's gonna do so I kind of marked it out again and this is what we came up with for the trip tech 
So that piece right there with the X, that one with the X, and that one with the X. I'll cut along this line right here, and then cut those other ones. And then that part right there, this is a maybe. I'm gonna, I might try something different too with this little piece. So just try to save what else I got left. So, okay, cool. Just thought I'd throw that in there. All right. I don't like that edge. We're gonna fix it up. All right, I'm gonna fix it up. That other side's straight though. Uh, we're gonna fix this up. Okay, hold on. I gotta reset. Hey, I'd like to give a huge shout out to the Bickle family um, in this YouTube video. Scott let me borrow his lathe over here. Or I guess, you know, it's just a, it's a shear that you push down on it to cut it. So I'll, uh, I'll turn the light on right here. You guys kind of see this. Hold on a second. And then what it's got, it's got a, oh, if you look down underneath over here, it's got a big blade. It's down right now. Let me lift it up. Whoop. It's noisy too. Okay. And then, so what happens is there's a little, there's a little blade right here and I'm pushing the metal through. I don't know if you can see that. And then over here on the side, it's got a nice big block to where it's squared. And then I'll just show you how it works. It's got a little foot feed down here and like I said this is all square right here and then you just step on it and oh hold on it's hard to hold my phone and do all this <laughs> hold on a second oh this is thick stuff bam right like that and it just cuts a little bit off keeps it nice and square so okay like I said big thank you to uh the Bickle family for letting me use this and get some nice square edges on my aluminum. All right, uh, we'll get going on something else. Okay, so we're gonna do a trip tech on this aluminum. I had to take it and go shear it because I wasn't getting the edges I wanted. So now I'm back. And then I talked to Villa from Vegas Art by Boyd and she said it'd be cool to do like some lines and kind of go all the way across it and everything like that. You know, lines that continue on. Then plus from the saw, like before I got some spots on here, so I'm going to try to shine those out of here, but what I'm going to try to do is stay away from my edges. So these edges are, they're a son of a gun, they're hard to work with. But I'll probably like go boop, 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 and put some marks in it, you know, and then I'll probably do this first, get these little lines out of there, and then go and make some marks in it. So I'll show you guys all that, but uh, yeah, just wanted to uh, put this in the video. So, all right, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to take these in, clean them all up, then we'll make a trip tech out of it. We'll put some resin on it, call it cool. I don't think I'm going to put a backing on these because they're pretty straight the way that they are, you know? Like this, I've got a bigger chunk over here. I'll probably put a backing on that. It, hey, you guys going to keep barking? Because <laughs> uh, it sags in the middle a little, but. All right, cool. Uh, Sophie Rocket, I love you guys. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna stop the video. <laughs> Just kind of wanted to give you a close up, kind of show you how good the edges are on it and everything like that. So, just wanted to show you that. And in the back of this, I'll figure out a way to get this plastic off here. I think a little bit of rubbing alcohol will take it right off. So, I might do that before I get going on them. But, all right, just wanted to throw that in there and show you guys this. Just nice and square. That's just the. Oh, that's just the flashing from the other part of it. So, all right, cool. Okay, so in the next video, we'll color this trip tech. 
But as you can see, I kind of got like lines going over there, kind of coming up here. They all kind of connect, you know. So we'll do that in the next video. Um, a lot of the reason I put this stuff in here for you guys is because like, you know, I want you to learn and kind of like learn from my mistakes. And that's how we all get better. So let's get better at this. Let's do it together. Well, if you made it this far into my video, I greatly appreciate it. I know it was a longer one, and I, I try to keep them short for you guys. Uh, trials and tribulations on this one. It was a chore. So, Okay, cool. Well, I just want to tell everybody thank you for watching again. And uh, I'll show you a little video where I took my dog swimming last weekend. So try to make a video every week for you. But last weekend it rained, and I couldn't get outside and do the aluminum. So this week, you know, we'll, we'll make some more videos. I'll double up, try to go quicker for you. All right, I love you all. Bye-bye. Okay, Laura Posh, here you go. Uh, this was a fun little time taking my dogs to teach out pool. So in Des Moines, they shut the pools down and then they let the dogs come and uh, go for a swim. So, all right, well, I greatly, greatly appreciate everybody watching these videos. Uh, here's the cards for the next ones. Thank you for watching and I'll keep them coming. All right, everybody, make something cool. All right, talk to y'all later, bye-bye.